Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode we look at an uh, emulation machine. It's uh, interesting for all who wants to play C64 games and don't have an old C64. And for some they collect C64s and want to stress your old machine. And for those who want uh, to have um, an old machine and uh, doesn't like and doesn't know if he liked the old machine and uh, don't want to figure out how to connect your C64 to a modern TV. So in this episode we take a look at the, at the DC64. It's an emulation machine from the C64 as I said before and it's one with modern technique inside. So let's take a look. And here now we have it on the bench. This glare is from this uh, new shiny box. So let's open up. So we open it. You see we have a little box here and you see 64 under a dust cover. Take the box to the side. And we see it's the design of an old prepping case. And it's typical beige brown color. On the right side we have three USB ports and the reset switch. On the back side we have a USB port. This port is recommended for updating the firmware. I show later. The HDMI port to put this on a new modern TV and the micro USB for power. On the bottom side you see the label. It's all a little bit like the original. And on the left side we have nothing like an original 64. So put in here. And for comparison, pairing, so this is an original C64G. It's it's the same case, but a little different color. It's an, a brighter one, but you see the measurings are identical. The thing that's a little bit different is, I think, the height. In this case, not. There are some Redman cases from the original C64 that's higher. But it's a, a few one. This case was built from original molds. Put it on the side and some feature are a working keyboard. So we have here at least 64 games for C64 and WIC 20. And you can um, you can install uh, a lot of more games on this if you want. So Let's take a look in the smaller box. It's an, a nice C64 logo. In this box we have an, a joystick, a Competition Pro joystick. Very clicky with the buttons for, uh, for the menu. It's an USB one. 
and this USB stick is firmware, this is from me, it not included. A little quick guide in this, where you have in multiple languages how you start up. And in this white box we have this USB part. USB plug for charging that's for European especially Germany I am from Germany so I have this a USB cable USB to a micro USB and an HDMI cable so the next thing is we open this up and take a look inside So let's open it up and see what's inside. So you see, there's not a lot inside. A little short, a little motherboard with some, some connections and a daughter board for the USB and the power switch that's all and the keyboard has a nice metal plate that's a little bit like the original ones so the oh Close it up. And then we do some tests. You see, is hooked up also the joystick it's plugged into the TV and power also. And let's go. The click on the side, like the original, and it loads. So, in default, you Get, you enter to the carousel where you, with the joystick can switch between the games if you want to play a game press the fire button on the joystick And then the game starts, and then you can play a game. And you have also the choice to start in the classic mode that I will show you now. So here you can choose your computer model, it's a C64 in PAL or a C64 in NTSC or VIC-20 also in PAL and NTSC here you can change the boot mode if you want to boot in carousel or in classic mode here we have system information you see it's the version 1.3.0 Amora 
in there. Later we um, we change the firmware and now we switch to classic mode. You can also this thing use like a normal C64. So you can write your programs. Like back in the day. See, it works. With the press of the menu button, you get to the menu. Then you can here change the display options with pixel perfect or CRT mode or the European. The old European or the old North American. You can change the language. So we get to device settings and we choose WIC 20. So, and if we get the classic mode, now we have the WIC 20. And here it works also. And if we want to the first, we get here. So we change the computer model to C64 PAL. And then we shut down the device so that I can show you how to change the firmware. For this you plug the USB stick in this USB port. I have the firmware downloaded and put it in the root direction directory of this USB stick. I'll put the link in the description for this. And now you see we have the USB stick here. At this way you can put uh, new games in this, but now we want in the system information and you see the new firmware file is ready to go. Then we do go to apply, press the button and now the C64 install this new firmware. It takes a few seconds, then it reboots, starts again, and now we go to system information, and now we have 1.5.2. Now get you here, you see it's a file loader on the USB stick and so no files found, there are no games or program files on this and so you can chain, uh, put new games in. So that's it. Let's take a look, try a little bit of water dash.
And so you can play for the dash. So, that's it. So, that's it for this video. I hope you like this. Uh, the C64 is, um, is a good machine for all who wants to play old games. So, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to uh, don't miss uh, new videos. And so, I see you in the next one. Bye.